Hi there, we're going to introduce you the world premiere, the Arctic Commuter 35. And uh, if you, as we are keeping the distance, if from your permission, I will take off the mask. This will help us to understand to each other much better. So, shall we go? Before you go on board, please take your socks. Now you're more than welcome. The length of this model 11.4 and the width of the gas sidewalk 26 centimeters. The width of the board is 3.9. We have the really spacious cockpit. Let's go inside. The total is in six meters, square meters. You have two lockers, one of that you can store something or put the gas bottle, whatever you wish to. All three locker seats are here are covered with cautions and you can make it very spacious. You can have really big storage and let's go inside and have a look. So here we placed a set of the extra and let, or let's say spare propellers let's go further and you may of course put here anything else you know, for example some uh, live bite well or whatever else this hatch has a lock and here we could store the gas bottle with a drainage so it is easily cleaned and all the lockers has the ceiling rubber band so no water could can in, come inside or if so it will easily drain out beside the rubber band equipped with spring support this one is easy used yes and but it will protect your hands to be damaged when the hatch is simply could fall down is this rubber band will clean keep this locker clean and not wet so not water will go inside nothing no drain no other stuff will go so you can lock it easily with a key and keep it safe here we have two hatches for the they're completely automatic and i will show you how they are going to be opened beneath you will see how spacious the engine room is because as an engine engine option you can put here the ips drive for that reason it has to be very big uh, the space and the, uh, the engine room could allow you to have not only the D6370, but also D6440 with new uh, DPI drives or other type of propulsion like IPS or water jet, whatever else. You can, you can see that the space here would allow you to have even more equipment inside, uh, beside the generator, beside the water heater, or even just uh, like Vibasto heating system or anything like that. So you can have the, the compressor for diving bottles, you can store here the bicycle if you need, and uh, whatever you can imagine could be put there. The uh, shipyard of the Arctic boats could provide you with some organizer to keep your stuff uh, on place and uh, everything would be in proper. Please keep safe, because when the hatches is closing, you should keep your feet and hands in in distance. Okay, and now you're more than welcome to get inside. So here you can see the shore power. This plug you can put not only in this place in the cockpit, but also if you need to have it on the bow cockpit. You can define the place of the shore power by your own reason and by your own task and decisions. So here in the cockpit also you may find the shower with the hot and cold water. Also the outlet for the deck washing system, just plug in and you're good to go. And also the air outlet, the extra one, for many reasons, just for um, make your boat 
dry if you get clean it and it's completely wet let's say or also used for the diving bottles or other reasons uh, this compressor which we have here on board is also using uh, for the our really incredible chair recaro chair but we will speak about that a little later when we get in also here is the storage some kind of locker for the different reasons here you can find the tank for the washing uh, system i mean the uh, system for the cleaning of the windshield wipers here as you can see the air Everywhere on board there are the courtesy lights, so during the night time you can see where you step on. Beside here we have the RGB LED bar. That's also a really interesting feature on this boat. Let me turn it on. Here we could adjust even the color, whatever you will desire. Red, green, blue or other one. Just choose your mood and choose your color. like on disco yeah the arctic Kingdom 35 has self-draining deck and these sidewalks 26 centimeters of width could allow you to go around the boat easily not dropping not the bottles with uh, boxes with wine or beer or just the water and not folding down by your own the high su sides uh, of the of the boards uh, you could keep your kids safe or pets safe Beneath this cushion you can find the locker and here you see the anchor winch with the anchor chain and some stuff which you don't need at this time. You can put it there because it's really volume. Here we can place about five people to have a rest, enjoy the sun, taking sun buses or share the glass of white wine. The bow sprit is also a, can be adjusted, make it longer or shorter, or just to cancel this completely. And beneath there, you can find the normal, regular ladder just to climb if you are mooring to the pier or beaching to the shore, uh, and uh, to get by the, with with your bow, of course. And if you you will find that the keel is protected with a stainless steel stripe. The hatch here mostly used for ventilation but also that's for the safety reason you can easily get out if something happens some emergency cases it could be easily opened from inside and just take out the basic specification will include those three windshield wipers mostly this boat designed for the rough seas so those windshield wipers has the washers and the synchronizing device so they will be working mostly like in your car but if you don't need it you turn off the synchronizer and this will be cleaned as you need one could be have the lower speed next one could have the middle speed and third one could have fast speed for cleaning but as i said earlier you have the synchronizer and it will be working in the same way as on your car this is, has this non slipping cover or texture it comes from the mold and protecting you from the slipping and folding down. Here on the roof, as you can see, the Raymarine devices, antennas and long range LED bar. It will give you huge benefit when you're driving the night time. Let me climb here. As you see, the roof is quite tough, really hard. You can walk easily here for cleaning reason, for other matters or servicing your radar, antennas, whatever else. But don't step on this huge, huge electrical hatch made by Webasto. So to keep your body safe, you can grab those really tough railings. They are 30 millimeters diameter. Besides that, you have it here. So if it's really rushy sea, you can hold your, yourself really safe and not folding down.
under the sand cap you can find the boat hook. The same you can find from other hand. So if you need to grab and moor or pick up some roads from the water, you can do it from one side or from another. Here is the inlet for diesel. And water inlet. Optionally, you can have these cups with the locker to protect your boat from vandals who could spill the sand or sugar inside or just to keep it safe to keep the galley unit after the driver's chair because if you place it at the fore panel there the some splits of the oil or everything what you cook could make your windshield dirty so right now uh, as it is right over here the gas oven could be, you can cook your food easily here also we have the double sink with the water tap and mixer so you can get the warm or cold or really hot water here many different lockers for storage of anything you need on board and as always there is not much space all the time you need to find some storage area for a I don't know, maybe your socks, maybe your toys or whatever else. And there is al always lack of such places. But here you can have more than enough. Very big fridge here with also the ice making or freezer. If you got some fish, not very big, of course, but you can put it there and keep it fresh until you get to ashore or before it's cooked already, of course. So from here we could get to the aft cabin, but first of all, let me make it closer if there is someone for privacy. We have such as rolling doors. It can be easily opened or closed. The way to the full, uh, aft cabin is quite wide. You have a step there with a... And to get inside, it's quite easy. So there's normal height. The people with it, which are quite tall could be comfortable to get to the bed. So here, there is also the huge space and big berths from one side to other. Actually, you can place there about three people. But normally for uh, adults, I think it's two more than enough. Uh, it's quite spacious. We have the courtesy lights there. We have the bra. We have the uh, uh, portholes, they are not openable, but we have openable at the fore cabin. Uh, mainly this cabin used for the guests. Unfortunately, we don't have the enough space for a second toilet. And here we can adjust some small one just beneath this cushion. You, we can have some small electrical head beneath this uh, hatch. Is this optional, but regularly the people using uh, this just for the seating take your shoes off, your clothes off, and one toilet for this potential um, for this buyer and owner of this Kimito 35 more than enough because he will use it just with his family. Here we also have really big sofa, and this table, as you can see, with cup holders for uh, five people, I think quite normal. The foldable backrest could provide you with spacious dining area uh, as always and i think it's normal for all the boats you can put it down and put the cushion on top so this extra two sleeping places at least you may use it by your own reason because it's close to the uh, fridge and just laying on this extra sleeping area you can grab the juice or cold water to refresh yourself. The front panel is really good and soft to touch. It's all, all of this panel covered with a um, Nextel paint and also some inserts, which really nice to touch. It's like leather, natural leather, but unfortunately it's not natural because we are trying to keep the nature safe and not using the natural leather in our alpha stereo or in design. Mostly that is the echo leather. So here you can also see the blowers for the windshield and defroster, of course. 
Besides this, you have really up, upper panel with many different instruments, diffusion media system with climber, air conditioning, and also the same kind of uh, LED bar, which is, could be adjusted with the color. Also, you can find here the sliding door for privacy. This customer decided to make it transparent, but it could be made completely mirror from outside and transparent from inside to have some privacy. And as I said before, aft cabin used as for the guests and we can see that the fore cabin as the owner's cabin. So shall we go inside and we'll look how the owner of this boat will feel inside there. So first what you can see here going to downstairs, of course, that's a huge burst. And also the wardrobe to keep your upwear. Maybe socks, maybe some jackets, whatever you need to put here, you can st store in this big wardrobe. Beside this, you can find the TV. It could be even bigger or lower, depending on your task and wishes, of course. Maybe some your kids could play some Sony PlayStation while you're fishing or just enjoy the ride. Beside this, you can find here the fusion system. Uh, the fusion system, as always, could be adjusted for the three zones, for the four cabin, for the pilot house and the cockpit. Also, you can find here, if you open this door, really volume of the toilet with, um, with shower. Quite interesting in design, think, with bed linings and sheets. Beneath this cushion, you also have some storage area and the entrance to the servicing of the boat thruster. As I said before, this cushion could be used for the arranging the extra sleeping place at the pilot house. So exactly this you will put on the table to get the sleeping place. So also you can see here that we have an Alcantara on side walls. We have Alcantara on top. We have the huge mirror here just to enlarge the view of the hatch. So when you're laying, it's quite nice to have a see at the open sky. We have three openable portholes at the fore cabin and of course two quite big roundable portholes which are not openable just for the safety reasons. Everywhere on board we have outlets USB for the 1 ampere and 2 amperes and beside this of course the normal 220 volts. Here you can see the electrical shield and the huge subwoofer. In fact, this boat has two subwoofers. And if you can understand that the crossover, the service, the AUX and start plugs, you can plug in here, just on this control panel. This could be easily turned off or turned on. Also, the control panel of the generator. Here we're using the Paguro 5000, nice generator from Lombardini Marine. So here we get one more really interesting feature and the driver's chair. This is chair Ricaro with the air pressuring and air pumping. So it's work just incredible. You would feel like an owner of your life. Instruments of here, you can adjust not only the height, but also the how uh, soft the pumping would be. So you can get upper upwards and also you can get your steering console closer to you. With the high and the top position of this chair, you will observe everything around. And uh, once again, let me remind you that we have 330 degrees of uh, round view. So you can also adjust the steering wheel and uh, you get the full control of the situation. If you need to stand up and just look around what is going on beneath the, the line, so you can go like this easily and put this console towards.
Next one, you can move quite easily when you get closer to the pier. Just step over here and put this boat just like this. It will be easy move to anything and anywhere. <music> Besides this, you have the armrest from the both sides, which will make you very comfortable when you're running long distances. And to protect yourself to not be thrown out from this outstanding chair on the high waves, you have, of course, the seatbelt. So drive safe and fasten your seatbelt. Mm -hmm.